If you're going to be replacing your brake caliper, I strongly recommend you replace your flexible brake lines as well. After you have replaced the caliper, you must stop and fully bleed the brake system before you attempt to drive the vehicle. You're going to need to start by raising and safely supporting the vehicle. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Let's start on the front calipers. We're going to remove the left side front. The steps are the same for the right side with the exception of the left side having a brake pad wear sensor. As always, when working on your vehicle, you should be wearing eye protection safety glasses. If you're not, please stop and put some on before you do this. With a flathead screwdriver, lever off the anti-rattle spring, green arrow. The spring is under some tension, so make sure it does not go flying as you lever it off. At the access hole of the caliper, insert a flathead screwdriver in the outside of the hole and lever the caliper towards the direction of the blue arrow. This pushes the caliper piston back in and will make the caliper easy to remove in later steps. You need to check your brake fluid reservoir as you'll be pushing fluid back up into the system and remove some if necessary. Remove the two plastic caps, green arrows, that cover the caliper mounting pins. Upper cap is already removed. Using a 7mm Allen key bit, remove the two caliper mounting pins, green arrows. If the wheel you are working on has a brake pad wear sensor, unclip the two locking tabs, green arrows, on the electrical connector housing. It's mounted behind the strut on the body of the car. Pull out the black electrical connector for the brake pad wear sensor connector, green arrow. Squeeze the locking tab at the bottom of the electrical connector to unlock it and separate the connector. Unclip the sensor from the bracket on the strut. It's a tight fit and you will have to use some force to get it off. With a 14mm flared nut wrench, loosen the brake line fitting to the caliper. Remove the caliper from the mounting bracket. Now that the caliper is loose, spin the caliper until the threads on the brake line are all the way out. Installation of the new caliper is the reverse of removal. Now you must bleed your brakes. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without fully bleeding the brake system. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Now let's move to the rear calipers. Again, make sure you have your safety glasses on and with a flathead screwdriver, lever off the anti-rattle spring. Working at the inside of the caliper, remove the two plastic covers, green arrows, for the caliper mounting pins. With a 7mm Allen head bit, remove the two caliper mounting pins, green arrows, from the caliper. Same as the front caliper, use a flathead screwdriver in the access hole of the caliper to lever in the direction of the blue arrow, pushing the piston in. And don't forget to check the reservoir. Use a 14mm flare nut wrench to loosen the brake line, and once you have removed the caliper, you can spin the caliper to remove the line from it. Installation is the reverse of removal, and again, you must bleed your brakes. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle without first bleeding your brakes. And for additional assistance on that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.